Carl Jung, the eminent Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst, encountered a near-death experience, NDE, in 1944, which significantly altered his perspective on life and the mysteries surrounding it. This episode unfurled when Jung broke his foot and suffered a heart attack, leading to his hospitalization. During his time in the hospital, he almost succumbed but miraculously survived. The term near-death experience was yet to be coined until 1975 by Dr. Raymond Moody. Hence Jung didn't categorize his ordeal as such, but it bore all the hallmark characteristics of NDEs. In his autobiographical book, Memories, Dreams, Reflections, Jung recounts his ethereal journey during this near-death experience. He describes a sensation of floating high above the earth, beholding the magnificent view of continents, oceans, and the snow-capped Himalayas, bathed in a heavenly blue light as he transcended towards an otherworldly realm. His ethereal voyage led him to a gargantuan stone, resembling a meteorite but upon closer inspection revealed itself to be a temple. As Jung approached the entrance of this celestial temple, he underwent a transformative process where every element of his former self was shed, leaving behind the core essence of his being. This metamorphic experience enabled Jung to embrace a unified consciousness, encapsulating every event and emotion he had ever encountered or felt. The near-death experience instilled in Jung a profound sense of peace and a transcendence beyond the temporal shackles of past, present, and future, amalgamating them into a concrete whole. This non-temporal state, as he describes, was a realm of eternal existence where the ordinary flow of time ceased to govern. He was on the verge of entering an illuminated room, a portal to the profound understanding of his life's meaning, his existence, and the grand scheme of the cosmos. However, the image of Dr. H, his caretaker during the hospital stay, manifested with a message that it wasn't Jung's time yet, and he was needed back on Earth. Upon his return to the terrestrial realm, lying in his hospital bed, Jung initially grappled with a sense of disappointment for being denied entry into the Temple of Cosmic Understanding. However, this disappointment soon morphed into a premonition concerning Dr. A's health. Despite his attempts to convey this premonition to Dr. H, his words fell on deaf ears and tragically, Dr. H soon succumbed to septicemia on April 4, 1944. This near-death experience heralded a fertile period of introspection and work for Jung. It marked a transition in his approach towards his work and life, where he no longer sought to impose his opinions, but rather allowed himself to be carried by the current of his thoughts. This newfound approach facilitated the unraveling and shaping of numerous pivotal psychological concepts and theories. Among the myriad of ideas that blossomed post this experience was the concept of synchronicity, exploring the meaningful coincidences that occur when the inner psyche resonates with external events, transcending the causal laws that govern the physical world. Carl Jung's near-death experience was not merely a fleeting episode, but a seminal event that burgeoned into a deeper understanding of the intricate tapestry of existence, consciousness, and the interconnectedness of the internal and external realms. This experience, replete with mystic visions and profound realizations, enriched Jung's psychological theories and catalyzed his explorations into the realms of the collective unconscious, synchronicity, and the quintessential oneness of the universe, which continued to reverberate through his subsequent works and the broader field of psychology. Synchronicity is a thought-provoking and evocative concept coined by Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung, which explores the occurrences of meaningful coincidences that are not linked by causal relationships, but rather by symbolic meanings. Jung delved into this fascinating realm of thought as he endeavored to understand the rich tapestry of human experience beyond the limitations of cause and effect, venturing into a more holistic and nuanced understanding of reality. The concept of synchronicity emerged through Jung's exploration of the deeper layers of the unconscious 
and the interconnectedness that seemingly exists between internal psychic states and external events. He posited that there are moments where an inner state of mind resonates with an external event in a manner that is meaningful to the individual, yet devoid of a causal link. These meaningful coincidences, as he termed them, illuminate the convergence of the inner and outer worlds in a manner that transcends the conventional understanding of time and space. Jung's journey towards crystallizing the concept of synchronicity was influenced by his interactions with eminent physicists of his time, including Wolfgang Pauli. Through his dialogues with Pauli, Jung delved into the parallels between synchronistic events and quantum entanglement, where particles become interconnected in such a way that the state of one instantaneously influences the state of the other, irrespective of the distance separating them. One of the classic examples illustrating synchronicity is a tale from Jung's own clinical practice. A patient shared a dream in which she was gifted a golden scarab, a rare object indeed. During the therapy session, as she recounted her dream, a real scarab tapped at the window. Jung opened the window, caught the scarab, and handed it to the patient, saying, here is your golden scarab. This real-life echo of her dream, at a moment of emotional intensity, epitomized the essence of synchronicity. Synchronicity, as posited by Jung, invites individuals into a realm of experience where the linear confines of cause and effect are transcended, unveiling a domain where meaning and symbolism become the threads weaving the inner and outer worlds together. It suggests that there exists an underlying unified reality a unus mundus, or one world, as John referred to it, where the psyche and matter are interconnected in an indivisible continuum. Furthermore, John's concept of synchronicity opens up avenues for exploring the nature of reality, the human psyche, and the potential for individuals to access deeper layers of awareness and understanding. It challenges the conventional materialistic paradigm proposing instead a reality replete with meaning and interconnectedness. Through synchronicity, Jung provided a framework for exploring the enigmatic, often mystifying experiences that resonate with individuals on a profound level, hinting at a grander, more intertwined fabric of existence. Through this lens, the seemingly random events of life are imbued with meaning, beckoning individuals towards a deeper engagement with the mysteries of existence. The intriguing relationship between near-death experiences, NDEs, and synchronicity unfolds within a landscape where the conventional boundaries of time, space, and causality appear to dissolve, revealing a realm rich with meaning and interconnectedness. At the heart of this exploration lies the inquiry into the nature of reality, consciousness, and the profound mysteries of existence that both near-death experiences and instances of synchronicity invite. Near-death experiences often unfold as profoundly transformative episodes in individuals' lives, where the veil separating the known from the unknown seems to momentarily lift. Individuals encountering NDEs frequently report transcendent experiences, a sense of unity with the cosmos, encounters with deceased loved ones, or mystical beings, and a journey through realms that defy ordinary descriptions. Upon returning from such experiences, many report a shift in their understanding of life and death, a deepened sense of purpose, and a newfound appreciation for the interconnectedness of all existence. Synchronicity, as conceptualized by Carl Jung, refers to the occurrence of meaningful coincidences that are not bound by causal relationships but are deeply significant to the individual experiencing them. Through synchronicity, individuals often glimpse the harmonious interplay between internal psychic states and external events, hinting at an underlying unified reality. The nexus between near-death experiences and synchronicity emerges as individuals traverse through and return from the threshold of death. Many individuals who have had NDEs report an increased occurrence of synchronistic events post their near-death experience. 
This uptick in meaningful coincidences often serves to further solidify the transformative insights gained during the NDE, continually reminding individuals of the deeper, transcendent dimensions of existence. The common thread weaving NDEs and synchronicity is the revelation of a reality that extends beyond the superficial layer of material existence, unveiling a harmonious and interconnected cosmic order. Both phenomena invite individuals into a dialogue with the mysterious, the numinous, evoking a sense of awe and wonder that enlarges the scope of human experience. Moreover, the relationship between NDEs and synchronicity may be seen as a manifestation of a larger, more encompassing reality wherein the psyche and the external world are intimately intertwined. Individuals encountering synchronicities post-NDEs often interpret these events as affirmations of the insights and the expanded awareness gained during their brush with death, further enriching their understanding of life's profound mysteries. Furthermore, both NDEs and synchronicity challenge the conventional materialistic paradigm, proposing a reality replete with meaning and a cosmic order that reverberates through the fabric of existence. They beckon individuals towards a deeper engagement with the mysteries of life and death, offering glimpses into a realm where consciousness and the cosmos dance in a delicate yet profound interplay of meaning and interconnectedness. Through this relationship, individuals often find themselves on a transformative journey of self-discovery, spiritual growth, and a ceaseless wonder towards the grand tapestry of existence. The Life Review is a profound and transformative aspect often reported in near-death experiences, NDEs. This phenomenon unfolds as an immersive replay of significant, and often all, events in an individual's life. It's a moment of profound reflection, where individuals are given the opportunity to re-experience and review their lives from a broader perspective, often leading to a deeper understanding of their actions, decisions, and the interconnectedness of their life events. Individuals undergoing a life review often describe it as a panoramic, three-dimensional replay of their lives, where events unfold in a non-linear manner, transcending the constraints of time and space. This unique aspect of the NDE allows individuals to relive their actions, feeling not only the emotions they felt, but also the emotions they elicited in others. It's a deeply empathetic experience, shedding light on the ripple effects of one's actions, both positive and negative. One of the remarkable aspects of the life review is its impartial nature. Individuals often report feeling a sense of understanding, acceptance, and unconditional love during this process, even when reviewing painful or regrettable events. This non-judgmental perspective allows individuals to see their actions in the light of understanding and growth, often leading to profound insights and a re-evaluation of their values and priorities. Furthermore, the life review can foster a sense of closure, healing, and reconciliation. Individuals may come to terms with unresolved issues, forgive others and themselves, and gain a sense of peace regarding past experiences. It is a process of coming to terms with one's life narrative and understanding it within a larger, holistic context. The insights gleaned from the life review often have lasting impacts. Individuals frequently report a heightened sense of purpose, a reoriented value system, and a renewed commitment to living compassionately and meaningfully. The life review can spark a deeper understanding of love, empathy, and the fundamental interconnectedness of all beings. Moreover, the life review also illuminates the inherent value in every life experience, no matter how seemingly insignificant. It highlights the potential for growth, learning, and the indelible impact of human interactions. It underscores the narrative of personal evolution and the potential for transformation inherent in every life journey. In a broader sense, the life review phenomenon challenges conventional understandings of life, death, and consciousness. It beckons questions about the nature of existence, the continuity of consciousness beyond physical death, 
and the intricate tapestry of human experience. Through the lens of the Life Review, life is seen as a profound journey of learning, growth, and spiritual evolution, enriching the narrative of what it means to be human in a vast and mysterious universe. Barbara Harris Whitfield and Dr. Eben Alexander are among the many individuals who have shared their near-death experiences and DEs with the public, contributing to a growing body of anecdotal evidence concerning the phenomena encountered in the proximity of death. Their accounts provide compelling narratives that evoke both curiosity and a deeper examination of the nature of consciousness and existence beyond the physical realm. Barbara Harris Whitfield's near-death experience occurred following a surgical procedure to address scoliosis. During her NDE, she found herself enveloped in darkness until she felt the comforting embrace of her deceased grandmother, whom she called Bubby. Through this encounter, Whitfield relived cherished memories shared with her grandmother from both their perspectives, providing a deeper appreciation of their bond. As she continued on her journey, she was gradually drawn away from her grandmother towards a radiant light. However, before reaching a full understanding of the light, she was abruptly returned to her physical body. This NDE had a profound impact on Whitfield, leading her to become an author, therapist, and a researcher in the realm of near-death studies. She came to recognize the interconnectedness of all beings and the transcendence of consciousness beyond the physical body. Dr. Eben Alexander, a neurosurgeon, had his life transformed following his near-death experience induced by a severe case of bacterial meningitis. During his NDE, Alexander journeyed through a surreal and beautiful realm, which he described as hyperreal and brimming with unconditional love. He encountered a guiding presence and was led through various awe-inspiring realms, gaining insights that challenged his scientific understanding of consciousness and reality. His journey also involved traversing through a dark, murky realm before ascending into a vibrant and melodious dimension where knowledge was instantly accessible. Alexander's NDE culminated in an understanding of a divine, loving force that underpins the cosmos a reality far beyond the physical realm. Upon returning to his physical body, Alexander's perspective on life, death, and consciousness underwent a radical transformation. His skepticism gave way to a profound understanding of the existence of a divine, interconnected reality beyond the material world. He shared his experiences in the book Proof of Heaven, aiming to bridge the gap between science and spirituality by exploring the mysteries of existence through the lens of his near-death experience. Both Barbara Harris Whitfield and Dr. Eben Alexander's accounts provide a glimpse into the profound and transformative nature of near-death experiences. Their narratives extend an invitation to delve deeper into the mysteries of consciousness, the afterlife, and the profound interconnectedness of existence, transcending the boundaries of the material world. Through sharing their experiences, they contribute to a broader dialogue surrounding the nature of reality and the human spirit, eliciting both wonder and a deeper inquiry into the unseen dimensions of existence.